This is just a great representation of what heat does to your fig trees. Viewers, it's Ross. I don't know who else it would be, but uh, if you've been following my videos, you uh, saw my Azores Dark Tree. Last year you got to see me taste it. Uh, then the tree woke up, and it woke up around midway through March, about March 15th is a pretty good estimate. Uh, if I want to be exact, then I want to say the beginning of April, about three weeks after that, I created a video on April 7th or 9th, something like that. And I was shocked because my Azores Dark, after it only being awake for three weeks, it put out some figs, some main crop figs, not Brabus. This is main crop figs on New Year's growth. And to me, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, after some research, after asking around, I have discovered that my Azores Dark Tree is nothing special. <laughs> it's not anything special. At least I don't think yet. But um, what I will say, and what I have learned, the reason why it did that is because this greenhouse I'm in is super warm and I have a heater and I kick on the heater at nighttime and I really try to keep this greenhouse somewhere in between uh, 70 and a 90 degrees anywhere in between there I really try to keep it warm and as a result I believe that the tree has gone through a bolting process where like many plants they will bolt if temperatures get too high so these are the flowers, these figs, their flowers are on the inside. Here's the tree as of today. Today is April 27th, something like that. I never know what the day is anymore. They all just blend together. But look at the amount of figs on this tree. It's actually nuts. Like, this is freaking ridiculous. It only had really one branch that came up through the middle here. You can see here, it, I took as many cuttings as I could off this plant. This branch right here is really the only branch that it came out with. And then I decided to pinch it up here. You can see I took off the growth and it, now it's producing figlets just everywhere. I mean, this is a gigantic leaf too. I mean, look how big this, this leaf is. It's like this, it's like three of my hands for each lobe. Um, and let me just come back and show you guys. This tree will ripen for me on July 1st because the figlets formed around May for, or, uh, April 1st. And if this tree takes 90 days to ripen, which I really am not 100% sure of, but that's the average for most fig varieties, um, this fig and that fig over there will produce its first ripe fig for me on uh, July 1st which would be very quickly, about the same time as Bravas. Here's the Azores Dark, and then down below, right next to it, is two other trees. And this is, this is the only tree right here that has the, has the advanced root system that this tree has. Okay, so we can't really count this guy. I don't think we can. But this guy has been, I think he woke up slightly later, probably around, March 25th, maybe 10 days after the Azores Dark. Uh, something like that. And it's just not as advanced in its fig production. And I think it's related to just the variety of fig. This tree is a Cavalieri, and it has mostly one lobed to, to three lobed uh, leaves. And this is definitely a less hardy variety. Uh, not only is it, not only do I imagine that it's less hardy, but it's pro it's way later in terms of when it ripens its fruit. You know, this tree probably ripens its fruit here in like October for me. So uh, maybe not the best representation, but what I'm trying to say is that if you can get an early ripening Unifera variety, which is what that means is it only produces a main crop, doesn't produce a, baby, a Braba crop, and you stick that bad boy in a hot place, it's gonna give you lots of figs right away, and that's gonna be your earliest variety. This is just a great representation of 
what heat does to your fig trees. I hope you guys have gained some knowledge from this video. I really just trying to show you guys as much knowledge that I, I learn. Whatever I learn, I want to show you guys. And I think that's really what this, why I'm making these videos, to be honest. I'm not trying to be super entertaining. I'm not trying to do this for attention. I'm trying to do this because I want to share the knowledge that I've gained. And uh, I think this is certainly something worth sharing. So thanks again for watching, guys, and have a great day.